Hi, welcome to summer school. This week it's lesson four, patents. I'm Mike Steger. I'm a trademark and copyright attorney. So for the last several weeks, we have discussed different types of intellectual property, gone through copyrights, uh, trademarks, and last week was trade secrets. This week, we're going to talk about patents. Disclaimer, I am not a patent attorney. My firm does not handle patent matters, but we know a lot of very good patent lawyers. So if you need help, please reach out. We'd be glad to connect you. So what is a patent? A patent is an exclusive intellectual property right that grants the patent owner the ability to prevent others from using, making, selling, or importing their patented invention. Okay, so we talked about that. Practically, what, what is a patent? So there are three types of patents. The first and the most common is a utility patent. And a utility patent is granted for new, useful, and non-obvious inventions. This is the most common type of patent. And some examples of utility patents would be a new kind of engine or a new type of drug. The second, second most common type of patent is a design patent. And a design patent is a new, original, and ornamental design uh, covers the appearance of something, such as a chair, uh, a typeface, sometimes called a font, uh, can cover the design of shoes. There are lots of different kinds of design patents you, you can have. Uh, as opposed to utility patent, where your rights last for 20 years, design patent rights only last for 14 years. Sometimes there can be an interplay between a design patent and copyright. Term of copyright protection lasts much longer than that of a design patent. And the third and final type of patent is a plant. And this is a plant that grows, not a plant like a factory. Um, but if you've got a new uh, and original type of plant, you can get a patent for that. The key, if you think you have a patent, you should talk to a patent attorney. You want to make sure you protect your rights. Patent rights expire very quickly if you do not move to uh, protect them. And in the United States, you often only have a year to file a patent application from when the original invention was put into practice. Now, there's a whole bunch of caveats for that. We're not going to get into that because, again, I'm not a patent lawyer. All right. So that's the end of lesson four here in summer school. We are not going to have an end of summer review. Uh, let you go get on with your vacation, but you can go back and watch the other videos in this series. Again, I'm Mike Steger. I'm a trademark and copyright lawyer. We can hook you up with patent lawyers. Class dismissed.